For most of us, a day at the office looks something like this. We're working together, doing our part, keeping our company organized and profitable. Everything in the office is calm until the dreaded end of month comes. At the end of the month, we have to balance our accounts. This means getting reports to bosses, paying workers, and moving very quickly. We all know this dreaded end of month feeling, but what can we do to make it better? What do we need to know to help us at the end of the month? Let's get back to the basics of accounting. In order to survive the end of the month, you have to understand the general ledger. So, what is a ledger? A ledger is just an old-fashioned name for a book. Back in the dim ages, before we had computers, people put all their financial information into ledger books. These books are comprised of columns and rows, allowing space for descriptions, amounts, and balances. They're ledger books for many different things, stock, customers, suppliers, and more. So what is a general ledger? A general ledger is an overview of all financial figures for your company. What goes into the general ledger? Let's imagine that you own a store. Congratulations! The overview of your finances will be kept in your general ledger. That general ledger is made of a series of sub-ledgers. Each sub-ledger corresponds to a different financial part of your business. When a customer makes a purchase in your store, that information goes into the customer sub-ledger. When you buy more stock, that goes into the stock sub-ledger. When you're invoiced by suppliers, that information goes into the supplier sub-ledger. When you make purchases, the purchasing sub-ledger. When you're making quick customer transactions using a cash drawer and docket printer, that information goes into the cash register sub-ledger. When you're paying wages to workers, the payroll sub-ledger. When you allocate funds for specific jobs, the job costing sub-ledger. And finally, when you make goods, the manufacturing sub-ledger. At the end of each day, the company accountant takes figures from all our separate sub-ledgers and combines them in a summary. This summary of all activity with a financial component creates your general ledger. What do you use the general ledger for? First of all, taxes. The general ledger shows the tax department the company's overall financial picture. This ensures we pay the right amount of taxes. Future planning. The general ledger helps the board of directors see how the company is doing so they can make future plans based on concrete trends in data. And lastly, day-to-day -day operations. The general ledger enables senior staff to react quickly to daily business and make immediate decisions. How is all the data from our sub-ledgers constructed in the general ledger? This part seems hard, but in fact it's just simple arithmetic. First we have our trading statement, which is our income minus direct expenses. The second is the profit and loss statement. It is your trading statement plus other income minus indirect expenses. Next is the appropriation statement. This is profit and loss plus profit and loss from the previous year minus income tax expenses minus dividends provided to your shareholders. Next is your balance sheet. Your assets plus fixed assets minus liabilities. Then comes your equity section. This is shares plus the appropriation statement. 
the trading statement, the profit and loss statement, the appropriation statement, balance sheet, and equity section, create the general ledger and the arithmetic of your business activity. So how do we get all of this information into our general ledger? We use general ledger codes. These are just numbers, letters, or a combination of the two that identify particular financial activity. Each software has their own specific codes. So now that we have all our information in the general ledger, who's going to use it? Two types of accountants use the general ledger, management accountants and financial accountants. Financial accountants make sure that everything in the general ledger balances. They also make sure that all the general ledger data is available for managers so they can see how the business is running on any given day. Management accountants, on the other hand, use the general ledger data to strategize for the company's future. So now that we know lots about the general ledger, let's go back to our end of month. When you understand the finances of your business, when you understand the general ledger, everything becomes easier. We can balance our accounts, pay our employees, and all of a sudden end of month starts to feel a bit like this.